Hey everyone, Miskit again, and this time we're going to be taking a proper look at the 30 minute missions Alto Red unit. Uh, just for some clarification, I'm not going to be reviewing any other units, um, just because they're all the same uh, at their core. But that's besides the point. Sorry for such a long uh, uploading gap. The Leo review kind of left a real bad taste in my mouth to kick me off the internet for about two months. But whatever, I'm back, and we're going to be taking a look at this guy here. So we'll start off with the aesthetics of this guy. So I'm not going to comment too much about the color of this guy, because eh, you can kind of buy whichever color that really tickles your fancy, and it won't exactly matter, because they're all the exact same. This guy here, uh, first of all, he is painted, yes, but he is still the alto red. Um, but that's besides the point. Let's talk about the actual looks of it, and I quite like it. It's got that gym uh, from the Universal Century kind of feel to it, um, which is really nice. It kind of it kind of almost mixes IBO aesthetics with the weird wonky chest right here and the gym from the Universal Century together, which I quite like. Um, they're again like every alto from the 30 minute missions line is the exact same apart from two which is the alto ground and the alto flight type but those aren't going to be appearing in this video so that doesn't matter um that's really it for the aesthetics there's not too much going on here besides the large amounts of panel lines throughout which are actually quite nice and um Something I should, whoops, something I should mention, uh, I did, uh, plug up some 3mm holes that were on here. Let me take a kit from over here. This is, uh, another Alto, whoop, let's move it. This is another Alto that I have that I didn't plug up the 3mm holes on. Uh, so, for this guy, uh, there should be one on the leg right here. It's plugged up on this guy, but you can see, uh, you can see here, let's get this part remove there we go that there's a three miller three millimeter hole right there same with the other side the back there is also a three millimeter hole that's also been plugged up uh with an additional part and top of the chest uh pardon me top of the shoulder is also a three millimeter hole two in the chest three millimeter holes and on either side whoops of the forearm here are three millimeter holes for you to attach various different things into uh, parts went everywhere. And yeah, that's really all I have to say about the aesthetics. Uh, not too much going for it besides the amount of panel lines, uh, throughout. So, let's move on to the accessories. So here's the Alto with everything that it comes with. It's a pretty simple loadout. Um, first of all, you have this, uh, submachine gun. Uh, not much going for it, although the details on it are very nice. You've even got a little stock, it doesn't do anything, but it's a nice bit of detail nonetheless. And this just plugs into the hand, like so. There you go, it has no issue holding it on, and it works very nicely. Next accessory is this. Uh, these are what I can only describe as like a knuckle duster, brass knuckles, I don't know. Um, you just kinda put these in there and there you go it is a circular hole so they don't it, it doesn't exactly hold on the greatest but it's better than the portanova which trust me will be a upcoming review sometime i don't know and last but not least the roy roy uh this is just a small little support drone that comes with the unit doesn't exactly do too much however there is some inbox customization Ooh, okay so, not too much the Roy Roy can do on its own, um, but some inbox customization is allowed, so you can tear off the head of this guy and pop on the Roy Roy's head. I don't know, it looks kind of dumb. Uh, <laughs> that's some inbox customization you can do with these guys, but um, I, I, I don't really like it. It's just kind of a little novelty you get with this thing. Moving on, accessories. Before we go on, I just wanted to give a quick mention to the stickers here. Uh, these do not come looking like this, I accidentally crumpled mine. But you do get these numbering ones in case you want to make yourself a bit of an army. So on to the articulation. Alright, and as always, from the head down. So for the head here, you have a ball joint, very simple, could actually get you a lot of movement. And it's amplified by this hinge joint in here. 
that gives you some forward and back movement. Oops. Uh, quite a bit up and quite a bit down as well. Uh, the shoulders can swing forward and back on a joint in there. You might want to pull it out just a bit to get a little more. Uh, shoulders themselves can move independent, stuck on by a little clip. And the shoulders can go out, whoops, out and off, can go up eh, about that far, which is pretty good. And you have a full swivel here, single joint bend, and a ball joint at the wrist. Now the waist itself uh, is kind of cool. You've got that for a crunch, which is really nice. Let's put that leg down there. Uh, can't really see the most of it. There we go. That's a real nice crunch and a decent back. It doesn't exactly go back too, too much. Um, you might need to pull out that little ball joint just a bit. Speaking of ball joints, that gives you a swivel and the joint up top gives you a little side to side as well. Now, the legs themselves uh, can go forward and back. You even have a little drop down joint which gets you leg movement all the way up and all the way back. Those legs can move everywhere. And uh, can pull, this guy, ugh, this guy can also pull off the full splits as well, splits and beyond, which is really nice. You have a full spin kick up here. A double jointed bend, very nice that that knee armor is separated. And uh, you have a swinging joint right here and a ball joint at the ankles. And just for good measure, a ball joint at this little foot guard. So yeah, all in all, uh, the posability on this guy is very nice. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, these side skirt things can go up, but that's not even gonna matter much if you're gonna get that leg articulation. So yeah, oh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, all in all, articulation on this guy, very good. Um, it's very nice, and whatever pose, oh my god, whatever pose you want to get, you will get. It's a, it's a very nice little kit. So, final thoughts on the Alto. Super great kit, I really like it a lot. Uh, it's very simple, the build itself, hence the name 30 Minute Missions. Uh, it's advertised as taking 30 minutes, but you'll spend a little less, especially since it's literally just sandwich, armor part, joint, armor part, joint. That's kind of the whole theme that they got going on throughout this entire uh, kit here, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I really like this kit, would highly recommend it, especially when you can pick it up for $13, $14. Um, I got this guy here for $18, um, but even then, I'm not upset for what I bought him at. Super great kit, and I love it to bits. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. Uh, stay tuned for next video. Um, yeah. That's about it. Bye.